Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Since the Photoshop CS6 public beta has been out for a while and the full version should be shipping sometime in the near future, I'm going to occasionally start answering questions about CS6 as well. And here's one of them. Janet Winesmith asked, how do we use the new crop tool in CS6? I don't get it. And I think this is a really important thing to look at because I think a lot of people's first reaction is going to be, wow, that's so different that I don't like it. Let me, how do I get it back to the way it was? Well, when I click on the crop tool, a couple things happen. First of all, it already has crop handles. You don't have to click and drag anything. And the other thing that's very different is that by default, it's turned on to something called Auto Center Preview. And that means as I move the crop handles, see how the image is constantly being centered inside these handles. So for example, here, I can just start to crop and say, this is what I want. I currently have the rule of thirds on. I can change it to some other overlays like a grid if I want or nothing at all. But for now, let's take that off. But here's the thing I think is really interesting. To me, this is just slightly crooked. It needs just a slight rotation. Well, in previous versions of Photoshop, if you use this rotate symbol with the crop tool, what would happen, it, was, it would rotate the crop handles themselves, and then you had to hit enter to kind of see if it's gonna work or not. Here, look what happens when I move crop. It's actually moving the photograph so the crop handles stay perfectly straight. So what this lets me do is tweak and go, I think, right there. And now you can move it around. You're kind of saying, well, I know this is the crop area that I want. Move the photograph around inside of it. And it's a little different, I got to say, but I found it took me about 10 minutes to really like the way this works. It so, makes mo so much more sense, really, than the other way that we're used to. A couple of other important notes about the crop tool. By default, you notice it says delete crop pixels and that's unchecked. That means when I hit enter to crop, it's not really fully cropped because I can always go back and choose reveal all and then get everything back again. So that's one important thing that does that by default. The other thing to mention is there's lots more options now in terms of preset choices for ratios and things like that. Now I, I say this next part almost grudgingly because I really don't want people to do this, but if you really find you're having a hard time understanding how this crop tool works, you can turn it on to something called use classic mode. I would honestly suggest you don't do that at first. At least try this because I think even though it's different, you'll find that this method of cropping in Photoshop CS6 really is a lot better. It makes a lot more sense than in previous versions. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.